Okay, we're recording. This is Bob. The um, subject of this video is electroscopes. The construction of electroscopes. And what you have in front of you, what you're looking at now, is a cutaway of an electroscope jar. All I use is plastic jars with plastic lids and I use no I try to stay away from steel ferrous or iron metals because they over time with a prolonged exposure to electrostatics they will magnetize but what we have here, this is the leaf section, this is the hinge center bolt with the nut, here is a uh, spacer, in dielectric spacer on one side of the lid, this is the lid part here, and this top is another dielectric washer. And I put them in because the plastic caps have a tendency, they're kind of brittle plastic and they'll crack on you. So I reinforce them with the dielectric washers. That's why I'm using that. And in the bottom here, I have, this is a sand and vegetable oil mix that I use for ballast. And the reason I have to add the oil to the sand is if you don't, the sand, little sand granules will get charged up and they will climb up along the side. They'll climb all over and stick to everything. It turns out to be a mess. And once they're charged, they like to stay that way. So I use the sand with this, with the oil, and that reduces that. Over time, over several years, the, the oil will solidify. But that is what we have. And uh, that is a cutaway version. You make them any size jar you want. You can use glass. As long as, but I do don't use a metal top. Use uh, the the cap. Make sure that that's a dielectric, a plastic. All right. Now here is on this page is a breakdown showing you the spacers. This is just 14 gauge aluminum, and this is I this is for the hinge, and I show. I show progression from this, how I bend it over, and I take uh, copper wire and I make little loops. And you can see how I bend them in here and how I modify the bolt. I don't, the bolts have a slot, screwdriver slot. I file that flat and round it because you don't need, you don't have to put them that tight for one thing. In second place, you uh, you don't need the sharp edges. Keep it as smooth as possible inside and outside the jar. And this just shows you a stack, how they're all stacked together. This is the lid, and this is the, the washers, and the, and the hinge plate for the leaves. And it all goes up through, and it's all bolted together with one, one nut. And I use another flat washer. Now that, I use a fiber washer. Stay away from any steel if you can, as much as possible. And then on this page, we have, I just used tin foil leaves. I, you, you can make them out of uh, 14, you can make them any thickness you want in length and shape. You can vary. These happen to be an inch wide to fit the jar. And I got them, they're, they're long and I, I actually just double them over and tape them. But on the top is the important thing. This is how I, after I make my my lease, and you take some practice. They're pretty fragile, especially when you're using uh, kitchen foil right out of the kitchen, which is fine. It's it's what I use on on most of mine. And then this is how you loop it, bring it through the hinge loop that was on a previous page, and you bring it over. You kind of have to make it a loose round fit. Don't make it tight. 
make it a loose fit so they swing real easy. You, you don't want any binding. If it binds, then the leaves don't react. They stick, and they'll stick, and they won't respond as nice. So you, it's, it's a nice loose fit. You're just trying to keep them in place. And this was designed with a lot of trial and error, but, error, but on my part, but this is how I make all my my later ones. First ones were just a little different, but that that's how I do that, and, and that's how you how you get the pieces. If you want to build a electroscope all with the, of the design that I use, it'll give you some idea how to make them. Now I'm going to shut that. I didn't need that. We're going to move in. Uh, see, here's the finished product right here. I'm going to move in a little bit. I'm right behind the camera. See what I'm doing now. Anyways, I've got different style tops. This is a brown brass ball, and this one happens to be an aluminum. Uh, actually, it's a pipe coupling, aluminum pipe coupling that, that I got a hold of, and it turned to... Put, I had a friend put it on the lathe and take the threads out. So it's just a, it's just a, a cylinder, smooth cylinder inside and out. I put the end caps on because it'll hold a charge longer. When I, I had a reason for the, I used the coupling, I was running some. Uh, oh, I wanted to see a, a electric field effect through a wire and stuff, and I used to run it right through into the the, uh, the Van de Graaff. Uh, I mean the Wimhurst, but I show you that I could take these apart, come up quite easy, and you can see how I think you can. There we go. See how I built the hinge. I hope you can. See. That that's all there is to it. And you see the the bolt. There was a bolt, and I, I filed the slot out, and it's not hard. These happen to be brass, and this is aluminum. Uh, the hinge part is aluminum. Let's see if you I, there. Anyways, that is how you do it. And then what's nice about this design is you can you can bend these tabs to get them as close as you can, or, or line them up. And uh, like I said, it's just a loose fit. You got to be able to wiggle it like that when you're done, or it, it, for best results. And uh, that—that's how you do that. And they work quite well. The peanut butter jars are great, and I like the plastic. You can use glass, like I said. But the reason I use the plastic is maybe it's because I'm klutzy or actually but they won't break if you knock them over if they actually or if my kitty cat knocks them on the floor and uh, now this is an earlier style it's the same principle this happens to have but I use just uh, copper wire this actually is lacing wire that's why it's got a zinc coating on it and it's silvery but it's actually copper wire and you can see the washer inside, and I put the nut on the downside on this one because it's just a stud, and that goes up through, and it happens to match up with a brass ball, and it's threaded on. And I, this is a piece of a of a, a heavy walled plastic tubing um, that I covered the uh, the stem with, but you can see that they move quite easy. And there again, it, even with this style, I have gotten so I how I develop is I can move the wires around it. You can't. It gives you adjustment when you're setting up your initial adjustment for your leaves. Well, that should pretty much cover the the. Uh, and you can make different styles. You can get widths and stuff. I have. Well, you've seen it in other videos. I, I showed you other style uh, electroscopes. But if you want to replicate that kind, and it'll give you an idea if you want to make your own, 
and uh, they're not hard. It's everyday items. There's you you could you could buy these on the internet. You look around, old old uh, breasts. Uh, they're around. You just gotta hunt. Alrighty, I hope that'll help you. This happens to be uh, November uh, the 9th, uh, 2011, and uh, uh, I I hope that'll help you.